Some evacuees decided to fly to Philadelphia to avoid Florence's wrath. And our David Spot talked with them tonight. He's live at Philadelphia International Airport. David. Hi, Jessica. Some flights out of the Carolinas actually were canceled. I want to show you this right now on the big board. We did find a flight coming into sh coming into Philly early tomorrow morning from Columbia, South Carolina. But I did speak to some people from Charlotte, Raleigh and Charleston, and it could be the last flight before the storm hits the coast. As Hurricane Florence continues to churn toward the Carolinas, those who were in the direct path of the Category 3 storm are glad to be safe in Pennsylvania. I think we got out just before everybody else because it was about 18 miles of bumper to bumper traffic. David Goodrich and his wife Tori were in Wilmington, North Carolina in a hotel on the beach. Florence is expected to make landfall in or near Wilmington. The couple had to drive to Raleigh to catch a flight to Philly after the Wilmington airport closed. People were, were panicking, a lot of uh, tractor trailers coming in with uh, plywood. All the gas stations were out of out of gasoline. All the grocery stores were out of food. We kept asking them when we were going to evacuate, and literally Tuesday morning, we went down to the lobby, and they said you have to be out in two hours. Residents on the North Carolina Barrier Islands were told to evacuate. No excuses. Business and homeowners continue to board up. More than 10 million people in both the Carolinas and Virginia are under a storm watcher warning. Mike Werner, who took what may be the last flight out of Charleston, South Carolina, is glad he's no longer one of them. Unfortunately, our uh, other airline canceled on us, so we had to scramble to get some last minute tickets on uh, American and got out of there. And passengers say these airlines have been incredibly generous with baggage fees and actual plane change fees. Reporting live from Philadelphia International tonight, David Spun, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All Jessica. Right. We're wishing them the best. David, thanks so much.